I gotta be honest, once in a while, a man just has to enjoy his hammock. Just hanging out, doing nothing. It's beautiful fall here in Minnesota. I mean, we're in peak fall down here in the cities. But what I'm gonna do is I am going to make a Turkish coffee. Yeah, I've kind of been into coffee lately. Once you start going down the espresso rabbit hole, it's a deep hole. It turns into a wombat hole. It turns into a badger hole. It turns into a dark deep hole. I have here my Ibrik. It's a Turkish coffee maker. And I've had this, boy, I've probably had this 25 years because uh, I lived in Greece when I was a child. I went to the first grade there, kindergarten. We went there in 1962 and we stayed until pretty much the end of 1965, the beginning of 1966. We lived outside of Athens and Kafisia. My dad was a Navy chief. He was stationed in Neomakri, which is over the mountains. And me being a redheaded kid, I was like a, I was like a Greek god. Well, there just weren't a lot of redheads in Greece. So some of our Greek neighbors used to borrow me for the day and they'd take me out to get Turkish coffee. It's a fine powdery ground coffee you put in there. Always had a little bit of sour cherry juice. That's the way it was served to me as a child. So I'm going to make some right here on my fancy feast. And have myself a little sophisticated cup out here in my demitasse. That is what I'm going to do. Lollygagging. And then getting slightly jacked up. I'm using my Medaglia d'Oro. Yeah, whole bean. And I'm going to take in while I grind it now. So here we go. Come on! For today with my Turkish coffee, because it's my tried and true, and I always have this uh, when I'm backpacking, Medaglia d'Oro. These are the whole beans, eh? or as I like to call it, Medaglia d'Oro. Yeah, this is not the instant that I normally use. These are the whole dark beans, but I really like this, and it makes a good dark brew, and it's going to be great for this Turkish coffee, and I'm getting my little Turkish coffee pot ready. I use eight ounces of water in my ibrik. Now Turkish coffee, you use about a teaspoon of sugar for roughly every three ounces of water. It's supposed to be sweet. And there's one. I'm gonna go with eh, two and a half. Stir it in a little bit. So right now all I have in there is the sugar and the water. Next I'll grind my beans. Because the Turkish coffee, it is a sweet by nature. Gotta be sweet. Because you grind your grinds super fine, like powdered sugar. Like dust in the wind. And then you boil it in that pot. You let it bubble up, go down, bubble up, go down, bubble up one more time, go down. Let it sit a while so the grounds settle. Pour it off in your cup. Let it sit again. It's a sweet coffee. But when we lived in Greece, we always had the Greek sour cherry juice and I cannot find that anywhere nothing like what it tasted like in Greece so I'm gonna make a little syrup out of uh, just maraschino cherries and a little bit of the juice and just having that hint of cherry juice in there for me brings me back to Greece okay please the porta paracolo ticana secala now I'm gonna go ahead and add my medaglia d'oro espresso Italian roast whole of coffee bean into my Breville Smart Grinder Pro Put a little bit in there. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and change my grind setting and go way down to like grind size 2. And uh, let's see, 19 grams? I might have to crank that up a little bit. I'm going to need a little bit more than that. I'm going to go for 25. that came out just dusty and it's powdery and it's just it just feels like even finer than powdered sugar but it's got that consistency right there but I'm cooking a little bit of a maraschino cherry juice and I kind of smashed a cherry or two up and a dash of sugar in there I don't really know what I'm doing here I'm just kind of guessing at it trying to make this just a little thicker but either way it'll work Tastes like cherries. That's all that matters. These little double shot glasses right here. This is from when we lived in Greece. And my parents got these at the American Hotel where we stayed. Outside of Athens in Kafisia. I remember them vividly and I'm so glad to have them. 
So I think this will suffice as a little shot of cherry juice. I think that's going to do it. The true sour Greek cherry juice. Man, this is nothing like it. It would be thick and just like take a long time to pour. It was the thickest, gurgliest, sweetest stuff ever. So I have just shy of nine, so I'm, I'm going to put a lot. So here's a big heaping. Go ahead and drop this in. I'm going to do another heaping. I'm doing another because I like it strong. All right. All right, there's my little ounce container of heat in the yellow bottle. So I don't, I'm not sure how much it's going to take. Not that much, so I don't know. Put a little, little over half in there and light it up. Okay, that is burning. Now we're going to let this start heating up. And we're going to let it come to right before a boil. It'll start to bubble up and foam. And then when that happens, I'm going to take it off and let it settle. And then I'm put it back on, let that foaming happen again, take it off, let it settle, put it back on, let that happen one more time, pour it off, let that wait for about five minutes. So those grinds just all go to the bottom and I got some nice clear coffee. Put that around there. So we got that sitting there. We're gonna we're gonna watch a bowl. Yes, sir. All right, we're still waiting a little bit for that first foam, and now it's starting to kind of, starting to kind of bubble up around the edges. And that's my, that's my sign. It's getting ready for the first round. It's kind of starting to foam up. I'm gonna let it come right to the edge. Just like that. Take it off. Now we'll just let that settle a second. We do this three times. Woo! All right, we're gonna put that back on now. Third time, woo! Look at that one. That was a nice foamy one. And we'll put that on one more time. That's a good foam. And I have my sweet little demi toss here. I get my spoon hung up down here. Let's take that coffee and just kind of tamp that down. I'm going to pour it off into the cup. And we're going to let that sit four or five minutes. Look how dark that is. I can actually see myself in there. That is dark and beautiful. And what I remember as a kid a lot from Greece, there's these pots and that have all that foamy coffee stuff right up around the edge like that. And all those grounds, those fine grounds will sink to the bottom of that pot as well. And then we'll pour in a little bit of the cherry juice and have ourselves a lovely Turkish coffee. Now one thing me and Meg have been doing during this pandemic, particularly this summer, is playing a lot of badminton, man. And Got our own set, been practicing, been having a lot of fun with it. It's been sitting a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh. I like to add this. Man, that tastes exactly how I recall it. And you know, if you want to get one of these Ibrix, you, you can find them online. Any good coffee store has them, high-end coffee suppliers. You can get them on Amazon. They're not expensive, it's just a little copper pot. But you kind of have to have this sort of little pot to make this coffee. Now I'm gonna pour in the, uh, ooh, that did thicken up nicely. We'll just get a little bit of that in there. That was the ticket when I was a kid. 
Hmm. Let's see if we got something here. They've got a store out of color. It's great. There's just a little bit of that dusty texture. You can kind of feel it on your teeth. It's like a little light, just a little light dust. And all that fine coffee now is settled to the bottom of this cup. There'll be a bunch in there when I finish it, just like there is at the, uh, in the end of this pot. But there's those dusky little dusty coffee grinds along with some of my cherry bits. And, well, actually a lot of cherry bits right there. Mmm, like a little dessert. I'm going to eat that. Our cherry juice in Greece, the sour cherry juice, never had the pulp in it. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, it's coffee time. Coffee time in the beautiful hood. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. shabba da ba da Woo, buddy. All secure in Sector 7. This is a little coffee brew called the Roman Holiday. Oh man, is that, it's almost like a milkshake. I mean, it really is with the taste of espresso down in there, a little bit of lemon. It's the closest thing to making like a, uh, an espresso martini, but it's called the Roman Holiday. and. I made one for Meg this morning and she really enjoyed it. But this, you know, would come under the specialty coffee thing, but what a great, what a great taste. Do I feel like I'm in Rome? Yes, but I am dressed wrong for it. And it just has that, it just has that wonderful light lemon taste in there, backing those other flavors. Just that hint of lemon behind it with the uh, espresso taste, that nice foam. Man, well, I better go run a few laps or something because I'm all jacked up. That kind of hurt, I forgot I'm old.